Here's a quick video to show you how to solve the issue of the latest .NET Core versions not being available in Visual Studio. As you can see, the latest version I've got listed in my Visual Studio 2022 is .NET Core 3.1. My hosting provider now supports version 7, so I'd like to upgrade my project. The first thing to do is to click on the link below the dropdown. This takes you to the page for downloading the various versions of the .NET framework. Ensure you have installed the appropriate versions. After you do this, it's probably a good idea to close and reopen Visual Studio again. Once you've done this, then the solution is stupidly easy. Microsoft have reshuffled the .NET Core naming conventions. After .NET Core 3.1, it was integrated into the main .NET framework. So .NET Core 6, 7 and 8 are selected by simply selecting the appropriate .NET version at the top of this drop-down list. Oh, I feel so stupid I could kick myself, but from a usability perspective, this drop-down list naming is really dumb. Incidentally, if you change your target framework to one of the newer versions of .NET Core and your project or solution doesn't compile, then don't panic. A good thing to try first is to clean your solution. Then try building the solution a couple of times. You could also manually delete the obj folder from the project you're unable to successfully build. This action worked for my own particular project. If you try these suggestions and you still can't build applications in the later versions of .NET Core, then leave a comment below. Hopefully some genius will be able to find the answer for you. Thanks for watching.